the recently the Bob Marley family had to hire a law firm in Canada to fight rights management issues because persons were exploiting the king of Africa. It's very evident that you, yourself, and other artists are being exploited with their images. What are what is it that your management team and you yourself approach are taking towards ensuring that that money that you're using we actually actually make it back or something so to get to remedy? Well, Vice Cartel's image. I don't think anyone is exploiting Vice Cartel's image for any monetary gain. The only one who that would be exploiting Vice Cartel's image for monetary gain would be Vice Cartel because I am an astute businessman. I have the business part of the music industry and right now. So I don't see, I don't see anybody really. But a famous person like Bob Marley, you know, his thing is so big that you're going to find a lot of bootleg material worldwide with Bob Marley and it is hard to really organize and to centralize and collect up each of the respective agencies using this image. But Five Star Tell has not reached that bridge yet. But when we reach that bridge, we'll cross it. But bootleg is something that you can't really run from unless you're going to just walk on the road and lock up every single cassette man, every single CD man. So sometimes six or one after the other, we'll in Jamaica bootleg, you just Turn a blind eye to it and look at it as promotion and know it is really cause for concern. Van Scartel and no DJ in the entertainment industry is in any field, casters, bickering, or anything of the matter right now. If you notice, another artist true away that Van Scartel doing sound, Van Scartel is not answering. I'm just looking ahead, doing my music, and making my money. So me and the artist, nothing at all. Especially about the killer. Well, the question part I got to learn is Well, I know the man 